Hi everyone. Long time no Levi. <laughs> Long time no Levi? It's how I greet people who haven't worn Levi for a while, or who haven't seen me in a while. I see. Me too. Anyway, Kendrick, are you excited about today's amazing attempt? Attempt? It's that time of year again. What time? The time when we present a living reenactment of Da Vinci's famous painting, The Last Supper, in honor of The Last Supper. For life. But there's only two of us. We can't enact the whole painting of Jesus and the twelve disciples with just two of us. We can if we move fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I've got a bad feeling about this. how much this doesn't look like the Last Supper. <laughs> You're right. So, what do we do now? We start talking about something else quick, so they'll stop thinking about how embarrassing this looks and start thinking about something else. Are they that easy to distract? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Let's talk about if Jesus' disciples knew that he was dyslexic. If they knew that he was what? You know, dyslexic. That condition that lots of people have. When they read, when all the letters look like they're backwards and reversed and stuff. After all, Jesus was always going around reversing words. You know, saying that small things are actually big things, and that first would be last, and the last shall be first. That's not dyslexia. It's wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> mm, and Jesus was doing it again on the night of switching first and last, on that evening near the end that we call the Last Supper. What? You know, the story of the Last Supper, but it wasn't really the Last Supper. It was the First Supper, the First Communion, the First Eucharist, when Jesus ate with his disciples and told them to continue to, to, continue to eat bread and drink wine together like that to remember him. And he said last, but it was first. Viola! Dyslexia. It's voila. <laughs> That's dyslexia. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit dyslexic. <laughs> Anyways, voila! Dyslexia. But, 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 it wasn't just the first supper, it was also the last supper. The last time Jesus ate with his disciples before he was taken by the Romans and crucified. The last supper. In other words, Jesus was not dyslexic. Hmm. The First Supper and the Last Supper. I wonder if you could be both dyslexic and not dyslexic at the same time. Maybe that's what Jesus was. What's the word for that? God. Oh, <laughs> God. As in omnilexic. All words. As in the beginning was the word. I get it. Jesus, as in Jesus in the bread and the wine. And the words, take, eat, this is my body, broken for you. This is my blood, shed for you. The word made flesh. That gives me a better idea for our Last Supper reenactment. We just needed more flesh. Thank you, Lord, for communion, the first and the last, and the lasting supper. Amen. And now, is this a great day or what?
Royce Wilkinson. Wilkinson.